In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed Vokies, Padlet walls, and any other item that you can find online that offers what's called an embed code. So to begin with, make sure that you are within one of your folders for the Wired Writing Final Project. I'm going to enter my folder. And you can only embed items easily within pages. It's not exactly true. You can embed them in the discussion as well. But for most of your purposes, when you're wanting to embed an item to share with your students, you'll want to put that on a page so you can add some text and other information. So I'll use the Add Materials button, and I'm going to choose Add Page or Text Box. If you haven't seen the new Schoology Editor, this is what it looks like now. And you can hover over various items and see what each tool does. So if you're looking for how, to, how in the world to insert pictures now, just hover over Insert Content. You'll find images, media, so here's your pictures and or video option right here, links, math equation editor, and so on. Insert tables is here, and you can go on along. What we'll use most when we're embedding is we'll need to switch to HTML code, which we now do over here on the right. First, I'm going to just type a little bit of text. And for this example, let's say I would like my Vokey message to be embedded in between these two text items. So I'm going to head over to Vokey. Here is my Vokey. If you don't see a Publish Your Vokey button here, go into Edit, go to the Publish step, and this should appear. But I need to get to this Publish option. It will bring up the size of the player I like embedded in my website. I'm going to stick with medium. 200 by 200 is not that large. And then here is the code that I need. So this embed code, I just click in this embed code box and click Copy. If I head back over to my Wired Writing page, I can't just paste this code in here or else it will be treated just like text and not like code. So I'll switch over to HTML code using these toggle buttons along the right. I always just go down to the end of the code. I don't want to break it, so I'll go to the end and I'll click Paste. And I'll switch back to Visual Code to manipulate this item. So if I wanted my Vokey in between the two text items, I'll just click on it and drag it up where I'd like it to be. It doesn't look very much like a Vokey right now, but trust me, when we get out of editing mode, it should look great. So let's click Create. And if you are delivered back into your page outline view, just click on the page title to see what it looks like. I can see my Vokey is loading, and students will be able to play the Vokey from right within this page. Well, let's say I want to add additional embedded items to this page, maybe a Padlet page. Now, typically, I'll probably put my Padlet page on a separate page. But for embedding practice, I'll just go ahead and show you the process one more time. So I'm going to switch back over to Padlet. I've put just a quick wall together with some sample sticky notes and some images. And I'm going to go over on the right on the Padlet walls that I create. I have an option to share or export. When I click that button, again, I see embed code provided for me. So I'm going to click in the box. I'll usually do a control A on my keyboard to select everything so I don't miss any of the code. Copy the code. I'll head back over to my Schoology page. Use the edit button to edit the page. You can see if I click on my existing items, I have an option to delete them. I want the Padlet wall just beneath this, so I'll go into my HTML code. And I'll always just go to the very end of the code and click paste and then I'll use the toggle buttons to switch back to visual view. Once I'm in visual view I can see how large the Padlet page is approximately. If I want to I can click these items and also center them. To really see what it's going to look like go ahead and save your changes. And now I can see both of my items are embedded within the Schoology page. Most every web tool will provide you embed code including YouTube videos, poplets, prezies, and so on. So as long as you can obtain that embed code, you can put that, any of that information on a Schoology page. 